Hi, and welcome to Phoenix Fabrication. Today we're going to show you one of our new products, the R2000 Oil Recycler. And what we're going to do is this product here allows you to make perfect one micron oil. And I'm going to explain to you today how we do that with this technology. I'm going to start you off here at the end with our totes and explain why we have totes and what everything here is. Uh, you can get totes from anywhere. You get them on Craigslist, eBay, anywhere between $40 and $60. There's an overwhelming amount of totes. But we're going, the reason we have this first tote here, this is our raw oil. And it's very important that when you go out and you collect your oil, you put in black oil only in this container. Now the reason I say that is a lot of times when you're pumping out of your tanks, you're going to get cream or water. For this system to work properly, you really don't want a lot of that in there. And that's why when you pour your oil in here first, this is stage one raw. You're going to let this settle overnight. And you'll notice when you let your oil settle, you will hit what we call a cream line. The cream is just basically oily water with food particles in it. So what we have here from the R2000 is we actually just cut a hole in the tote and we have an 18 inch wand. Now on the wand we put a check valve at the bottom. Now the reason we do that is for priming purposes. Uh, you'll notice many times when I talk to this video that I talk about priming because your initial prime it, it does take five or six times through our primer bulb to get it up. But once you have your system primed, you will not have to worry about priming it anymore. So back to our raw tote here. Once you have filled this up and you've let it settle overnight, you're going to notice the distinct color change. Now in our, in our system here, we don't have any a cream line. But we have, our, our wand is 18 inches. So basically what we did is you mapped down 18 inches down and you put a line. You know that that's the bottom of your wand and you don't want to pull oil from anywhere from there. So, when you turn your system on, you want to make sure your wand is not touching cream. If for some reason you have cream in your tank and it is actually in the area for the wand, you want to bleed off from the bottom valve here, all your cream out, and then continue to fill your tank up. Now once your tank is full enough with black oil, you're now ready to go to stage two, filter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go from tote one to tote two. And how we do that is through the R2000, we actually have it set up to where it's basically an oil station. It allows you to move fluid bypassing this system right altogether. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the raw oil and follow our flow here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our, our port here and go from raw into our filter. Now when we go into our filter, you'll notice that it has a bag on it. The reason we call it filtered is because it has a 100 micron bag. Now, 100 microns is the perfect base to start making one micron oil, and that's why we use that. So when you have your oil there that's raw and settled, you've gotten your water out, it's going to go through the system, and we're basically going to follow the flow. So we're going to go up and around, back through here, we're going to go ahead and open this up, and you'll notice that this goes into our bag. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the system on and show you we're pumping from our raw into our filtered tote. So we're just going to walk over here, and we're going to flip this switch on. And I'm going to turn the GFI on. And you'll notice we now are flowing from our raw tank into our filter tank. And it, it's going to flow pretty fast on you. Once you've got uh, your, your initial prime on, it, it'll go at a pretty good speed. Now you're going to sit here and it's going to flow through here. Now if for some reason your bag is plugging up, it means you don't have enough settle time in your oil in your raw. If your oil's not going through a 100 micron bag, you really don't want to put it in this tote. So, once you have your tote full, you'll notice that we have a secondary wand in here. Now this wand is 24 inches with a check valve on it as well. Now the reason this one is longer is because the only oil that's going into this tote is oil that's settled overnight and now gone through a 100 micron bag, so we would call it filtered oil. You'll notice what we did was here is we took 24 inches down, so now we know where our wand is. If you do get cream in this tank, it's going to be a very small amount of cream because you've already done your initial settle. So what you do is after you fill this up, you'll go ahead and you will let this settle overnight and if your cream supersedes the area here of course you do the same thing you'll drain off your cream and make sure that your wand is not touching any cream once that happens, once you're good you'll go ahead and you'll now pull from this tote so we're going to go over here and we're going to make sure all our flow is off we like to start fresh with everything off and we'll go ahead and we'll follow our, our tube here so we're going to turn this on we're going to follow our flow we're going to go up over we're going to come over here to our bags now what you'll notice on the bags here is we have several bags here. What we've done is, is we've done a stair step down to one micron. You'll notice the first bag we start with is 100 microns. The reason we do that is we'd like to be redundant. So our first tote there is 100 microns. So we make sure everything that's going in here is like at least 100 microns. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack this 
because your initial time getting the system running, you're going to have air in the lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to prime your, your system here. You'll notice we have a primer bulb here that's right off of the motor. And all you're going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to make sure that our line is in the oil and we're going to prime it. And as we do that, you actually hear it's pushing the air out of the lines. So we're going to give it quite a few pumps here. you are hearing the oil pushing all the air out. And once we've done it quite a few times, we're going to go ahead and go over here. You make sure you want to turn this off. If you do not turn this off and your line is not in oil, you're going to suck air and you're going to have to start all over again. So now that we've got this all open, we're going to go ahead and turn our motor on. We're pulling from our filter tote, going into here. You can hear the motor caught. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and you're going to see the bag. So now all the air is out of the bag. And so if you look down in here, you actually see that this is now taking the oil from our tote and pressure filtering it through here. Now, this R2000 holds 200 gallons. So what will happen is, is when you fill this system up through your tote, each one of these bags will have all the oil go through it twice every hour. So what we've essentially done here is we've made a system to where you can slowly start stair-stepping down all the way to one micron in one day. So we went from 100, 50, 25, 25, 10, 5, 5, 1, and 1. Now once you get to 1, which typically would be the end of the day, we recommend that when you're doing that, you would open up both of your 1 micron bags and you would roll it 24 hours. And you would just roll it all night. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this off. And when you're ready to go to the next system, what you would do is you simply would just shut this off and you would open up your other bag. Okay? Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you why we use bags instead of centrifuges. Um, if you actually step over here, this is an example of one of the bags that we use in our system here. Now what you'll notice is if you look inside here, you see a lot of carbon and food particles along with tallow and fat. Now, the issue with centrifuges is centrifuges have the ability to make perfect one micron oil. The problem with a centrifuge is centrifuge, as it's spinning the oil, is creating heat. It is then taking that tallow and fat and it's thinning it out and turning it into a liquid. It's no different than when you're using uh, cooking bacon in a pan and you have all that fat and it turns into a liquid. So the issue is when that cools down, it turns into fat. So what this system does is it actually takes the oil through cold pressure filtering and we, we, when we're putting it through these bags, it allows the tallow to actually get into a temperature to where it's cold. And as it gets cold, you can see here, this was actually centrifuged oil. This is what our system, our R2000, got out of the oil. This is all just animal fat. So a centrifuge will make one micron oil but it will not get your animal fat out. And that is why our system works so well because it removes all of the impurities along with animal fat and tallow. So that